Miss McIntyre was attacked later on that evening, Mr. Barlow was in the back room of the Rover's Return public house, telling his wife the truth. So you must ask yourselves this crucial question. Why would Mr. Barlow confess to damning and humiliating details that only Miss McIntyre would have known if he himself already thought her to be dead? Does that sound like the next logical step for a man who's just committed murder? The murder of the only other person who could verify these details. This illogical leap must not be underestimated. Indeed, it is a leap, is it not? Yet to be credibly accounted for within this room. All part of his grand plan. An elaborate smokescreen. None of these hold water. And not a single piece of evidence says otherwise. His fingerprints were not found on the missing top hat charm. And despite being accused of transporting underneath his coat the blood-stained iron bar, no traces of blood were found on Mr. Barlow's coat. And nor did he stash any iron bar at his parents' outhouse, nor subsequently dispose of it elsewhere. Why? Because Peter Barlow did not attempt to take Miss McIntyre's life. Peter Barlow was elsewhere. Telling his wife the truth. I've also heard from witnesses stating that Mr. Barlow was seen entering and exiting Miss McIntyre's flat in an agitated state. From Mrs. Barlow, we have an account of the defendant's subsequent confession of his affair with Miss McIntyre. You've heard details of a brutal and heinous crime. You must decide whether you are sure Mr. Barlow is guilty of this crime. I urge you to base your decision only on the evidence you have heard in this case. You're not deciding whether Mr. Barlow is a, a bad man, an immoral man who deserves punishment for his various infidelities and foibles. You are deciding whether there is sufficient evidence to find Mr. Barlow guilty of the murder of Miss Tina McIntyre. Let me remind you that if the evidence you have heard does not make you sure of Mr. Barlow's guilt, you must arrive at a verdict of not guilty. And remember, your verdict must be unanimous. Will you please now retire? 